Hello all, it's the 6th of April 2016, it's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. So today I'd like to talk a little bit about a report that I saw on the BBC News website regarding diabetes. Now, apparently it's increased quadruple since 1980 and 1 in 11 people in the world now allegedly have diabetes. Now this is very alarming for me because uh, the effects of diabetes can be catastrophic. Limb loss, blindness kidney failure, the list goes on. So I urge you to do your own research with regards to this and there are different types, type 1 and type 2. Now it must be said that not all diabetes is caused by poor diet or bad lifestyle choices. It's very important to acknowledge the fact that there and there is a lot of ignorance regarding this but it is safe to say that um, some cases of diabetes have been caused by poor diet and poor lifestyle choices. So, what are we going to do? Now, it's safe to say that there are far more people nowadays living an unhealthy lifestyle and people consume far more sugar than they, or at least refined sugar, than they once did. So, a lot of this is to do with the fact that how cheap a lot of it is. I mean, you can go down the supermarket and buy a pack of biscuits for less than 30p, all full of sugar. Now, I'm not saying there's no room in one's diet for this, but it must be how it used to be in the past in moderation. And, of course, exercise is very important now. So, with regards to exercise, what can one do? How about get out in your garden and grow your own food like this? This will hopefully have lots of peaches on it. Look how nice and sweet they are. Not refined sugar. Think of how many calories you will burn preparing a no-dig bed, or even digging your bed, if that is your thing. Think about these strawberries, or at least what will be strawberries. Think about how nice they will be one day when they come on these plants in a few months' time. Why do you have to go and eat a Mars bar? Why not eat some strawberries? Now I fully understand there are high levels of calories in some fruit and lots of sugar as well, but it's not refined sugar and at least you're getting some vitamins and minerals with it. Now of course another reason in my opinion why we are suffering from this is also the fact that many of us are simply knackered most of the time now due to our busy lifestyles, work, etc, etc, and the demands that are on us in our busy society. And what's a, a great thing to reach for when you're tired? It's a nice cake or some chocolate or a nice cup of coffee with two sugars in it. And so you're going to whack your adrenal glands and your pancreas at the same time to get you out of this low, to give you more energy, when in fact really what you need is you need to go to sleep for a few hours. But of course if you're at work you can't do that, can you? So what you've got to do is you're going to reach for the sugar. And if you're that way inclined you might even reach for a cigarette as well. So I'm not saying that everybody is guilty of unhealthy habits, but it's clearly obvious that what we're doing now is not working with a huge increase in diabetes. And just think of the huge burden that this will put on one's family, the, bur the burden on yourself, the burdens on the health service, and how much of this could be avoided. Now, I understand many people are literally addicted to sugar, myself probably included. I mean, I do like sweet food, and I am trying to cut down the amount of sugar that I am consuming, although it's very difficult because it's so cheap and readily available. But I think we need to find ways of weaning ourselves off of sugar in order to basically improve our health. I mean, if you think about what excessive sugar will do to one's teeth, think about what it will do to the rest of your body, because nature did not intend us to have refined sugar. So let's have a look at what else we can do for our, for our health, which may help the situation. Okay, so you see a bed here. This has all been weeded, etc., etc. And what we're going to do is put some nice vegetables in this. So think of the exercise you will get doing this, the quality of the food that you will be eating from this, and the fresh air that you will get from being outside doing it. Here we have a fig tree. Figs are delicious in my opinion and very sweet indeed. 
Why reach for the Mars bar when you can maybe have something natural? Blueberries, look at these. I weeded these the other day. You can see they're coming into life. This one especially is looking good. It's starting to leaf out. So you get all the vitamins, minerals, everything else within these, and you get the natural sweetness as well. Even beetroot, things like that. This is another bed that's been prepared, all ready to set with some good quality vegetables. So okay, the point of this video is definitely not to preach. I'm not getting on my high horse. I literally do not want people and society to have a huge epidemic of diabetes, which is gonna result in a serious cases of misfortune for people and their families, a huge expense for the health service, when it could simply be avoided in some cases if people would only just live a healthier lifestyle and eat healthier food. To me that seems much better and I myself am aiming, uh, slowly aiming towards weaning myself off of the higher consumption of sugar that many of us have nowadays. So, I hope you guys who are listening all get my point. Check out the report on the BBC News website read about the effects of uncontrolled blood sugar, read about diabetes, make yourself aware on the subject, and then once you're aware, you can make your own decision. Very windy today. Speak soon.